Breaking news. Youths attack Fulani settlement after bandits killed many in Kaduna. Hello, my wonderful people. Kaduna State is another place where, um, I mean, the governor of the state, Erufai, has sold the people over. Yes, he has sold the people over because um, some time ago, before all these things began, he was the one who took lots of money, went to Central Africa, and went to give it to Fulani clans there, not knowing what he was doing, was actually giving them money to come and attack Nigerians. And, uh, you know, the full, the um, Kaduna Saudanans who are not of his religious belief, you see. And uh, when the whole problem started, he said uh, he does not know why this is happening. But apparently, news came later that he was actually empowering them, giving them money to go ahead and buy more ammunition so that they'll be very well equipped to do what they need to do. Uh, recently, uh, the person of Obedara in the Middle Belt said the leader of this very group, the Boko Haram and the rest in the north, attacking and destroying lives and property is a serving governor. Currently a serving governor, a sitting governor. You know, many people have pointed fingers asking who exactly this person is. But, I mean, the speculation is still out there. Nobody is really sure who this governor is. However, fingers have been pointing to Erufai. Even Erufai himself and some other governors are not in very good terms. Himself, for instance, and the very next person in the next border with him talking about Ganduji are sworn enemies. So, I mean, this is what it is. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Youth attack Fulani settlement after bandits killed many in Kaduna. Some youths from the southern, I told you, southern Kaduna village besieged a nearby Fulani settlement, killing two persons after bandits attacked their community and killed three residents. The repellent attack was based on allegations that the Fulanis added, aided the attack on their village. Kaduna state government disclosed the development on Friday, saying bandits killed eight persons in Gamu, Chiku, Igambu and Sabo Gari local government area of the state. The state government also said that two suspected bandits were killed in reciprocated attacks, which is a lie. You, you know they see the bandits, or only the bandits they see you. This is a lie. You. They just saw that to make it look like they are doing anything. Truly speaking, none of them is working. Let's be honest. People are really on their own. We only have God. You have God, you have yourself and your neighbor, the person just around you. Let's not be deceived. None of them is doing anything. They come and they give you ambiguous statements of what they are doing. If you really know what they are doing, you will be you will weep. And the attack mostly is on Kaduna South, where you have the people that are of the opposite religion to Erufai. So there you have it. The state government also said that the two suspected bandits were killed in reciprocate in rep in reciprocal attack. The Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs, Samuel Aruo, confirmed the incident. So there you have it. They said um, this ha happened, really truly did happen, and then um, this is where they are at the moment. You see, you Nigeria, eh, what largely what is part of our problem is religion. Okay, uh, the problem of the religion issue is that some people re feel that their religion is superior to yours, so you must listen to them, you must um, do what they, are, what they tell you or what their religion detects to you, or you must become theirs. If not, you have the danger of death, you see, and they said anyone who does not believe anyway is a pig in terms of what Erufai believes, and the truth of the matter is everybody is entitled to their belief but the position of infringing or forcing your belief on others and if they don't you they begin to carry out this wicked activity is what i don't understand what gave you the infantry and make you feel that you are well able and you should be the one to live life why the other person should be killed why do you feel that way now let's leave our religion and our personal bias aside and let's think about this seriously and squarely. Let's be very honest with ourselves. What makes you feel that the person you are infringing pain on is not is not feeling the pain, but you are the one but if the same thing is done on you, you feel the pain. Why? What makes you feel that way? It goes to tell you, truly speaking, that human being, you know, the, the heart of man is desperately wicked. 
you know, what you don't want to be done to you. You like to bite people, but you don't make them bite you. You don't understand. So why do you think that, you know, you should kill the other person, take away the person's life, but you should live? Why do you think you have the right to live, but that person have no right to live? Why do you think so? Why? How come you have a right to live? How come? You know, they are doing nothing about it. It was Erufai who left this country, went to other countries, as African countries, gave them huge money that he should use to develop his state, not knowing it was the disguise equipping them to come and attack his people. And today he folds his hands as if, you know, they tell the people that he's not going to, he's doing this, he's doing that. You know, man can deceive themselves and we have all forgotten that as, as man is, no matter how much you brag eh, and try to do as if you are somebody that you are not, the day you die, all the money in the world cannot save you. And aside that, there is no human being who sees what is going on in his environment while he's sleeping. Only God can actually look after a man. Only God. When you are sleeping, you don't know what is going on around you. You don't know. Nobody can say, I know exactly what is happening. No. When you sleep, you sleep. Every man have it. You, you, when you go, when you sleep, you sleep. You cannot protect yourself when you are asleep. No matter the machineries you have put around yourself, you cannot protect yourself when you are asleep. So, how do we how do we come from a place of not realizing that these people are also human beings and respect people eh? and and you want people of the south to accommodate and respect your excesses can you see how wicked this set of people are wickedness personified very wicked yet you want people to accept you put you into their society do this do that accept you at all costs but you will not accept people. You don't know what is good for the goose is good for the gangas. Have you heard of that statement? What is good for A should be good for B. If A cannot accept it, why do you think B should be the one to receive it? Why? So these are the things happening. These are the things happening in our country. Uh, why those people are going, going scot-free. They've said it again and again that these people are involved. Nobody's investigating. Nobody's seeing to read that. They really find out and follow the, the tree abroad you will if somebody is, has been implicated you whether you are a president you'll be suspended you are not exempted from the from the from the uh, from the uh, uh, from the uh, uh, investigation leave us a comment god bless you have a lovely day bye for now